I'm gonna show you how I usually get my stuff warmed up. Rewind selector. Rewind selector. Rewind selector. Rewind selector. Rewind selector. Rewind selector. I'm dressed up completely normally because I have a lot of things that I have to do. I don't really have the time to do a proper exercise session. But just because I don't have it, that doesn't mean I can't do something that is very dense, very effective, and it requires the least amount of time and I get the biggest bang for my buck when it comes to effectiveness for my health. And weightlifting exactly is. It is the biggest bang for your buck when it comes to time, efficiency. I have a history of weightlifting. Something like weightlifting doesn't necessarily need to belong into a gym. Let's try to see what kind of stuff one can do in just a normal work outfit. I'm just going to get into a position and get out of the position and see how that also translates as a stimuli for my body. Therefore, it is good for me. I just got in and out of the body position and getting in and out of it is the exercise itself. On days when I don't feel like exercising, I don't have time for it, I just get in and out of interesting different body positions. Alright, so you say you don't have a bar available. I'm sure you can find a stone. Indeed, here's a stone. Or you can have a book. Lexicons has multiple different ways to use them. You can read them or you can use them as weight. And I'm sure you have a broom. So with a broom, you can also do all kinds of exercises that requires your brain to work. Also, if you do it long enough, essentially your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists, all of those muscles also get a workout. I know it seems like a crazy idea, but on a busy day, it's much easier to get yourself out of your head when you do something like this. You can really just come up with your own movements with each arm. And I already start feeling my wrists my arms, my shoulders. So you don't need to be a brain surgeon. You just need to be willing to play around like a kid. And that is also resistance training. Objects can be used for multiple different things. You can use them for what they intended to be used, or you can build stuff out of them. And if there's weight to those objects, that is resistance training. Okay, so the point is not to succeed with it. The point is to try, concentrate and focus and use whatever you have around you and lift them, move them, adjust them. It gets your brain involved, gets your muscles involved. You're bending down, you're squatting, you're kneeling, you're lifting, you're pulling, you're adjusting. So it gets your metabolism going. And that's what resistance training is all about. Hanging is way underrated. 
Oh, hanging feels good. It pulls your spine apart. It does all kinds of magical things for you. You can also just grip around. Just bring one leg up, other leg up. Just twist around a little bit. You don't have to do an exercise. You can just use any body position and you can make an exercise out of it. The love of movement, what matters? That's all it matters, that you enjoy moving around. So use your creativity, move in a way that you enjoy it and it will be good for you. So as you can tell, exercising is really not about ideas of putting on gym clothes, trying to do the most scientific, the best possible thing. It's more about just the movement. Get your metabolism working. Once you successfully do that, even a 10, 15 minute workout like this, interesting, it's exciting, gets you out of your head in the middle of a work day. It allows you to just explore physicality and you get out of your head and you come back to your day with more clarity, more fresh ideas and creative solutions. And resistance training, that's exactly what it is in my life now. When I was young, I push the boundaries. Now, several decades later, it's something different. I enjoy weightlifting for a completely different reason. So I wanna bring that angle to you guys. How you can look at weightlifting and resistance training that way. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and push that like button because that makes the world of a difference in the world of YouTube. Ciao.